Welcome to a get ready with me. Get ready with me for <laughs> my second job. I got called in. I got called in this morning getting off of my main job. And I was like, no, I cannot do a 20 hour shift. And every time I leave work in the mornings, like, I feel so drained. I feel so drained. Now. I was like, maybe I could just get it over with come home and shower but I was like no there was no way I was gonna be able to be there from so I got off from work I got off at work at 7 in the morning and they wanted me to be there till 7 p.m. so oh no and then in my mind I was like maybe I should tell him like hey I'm available tonight but <laughs> he texted me um, he asked me right now and I was like okay I guess like that's fine I can do that but I totally forgot last time I was there. So basically with this other company, I do the same thing. I still do dispatch. It's just for an ambulance company where my main job is with the police department. So it's totally still di like two different worlds. But it's basically kind of the same thing, dispatching. And last time I'm on call with them. So... Basically, if I'm available, they'll ask me and they send me a message if I'm available. Usually, it's literally like the last minute. And that's what I'm there for, like when somebody calls off or whatever. And if I'm not busy, I can, I usually pick up. But, totally forgot, last time that I was there, the restrooms weren't working. So, the restrooms were, weren't working at all. I was there the day before they ended up completely like shutting them off. We had to, I had to use the restrooms on the top, which... Let me tell you, last time I went to the top floor, and maybe I can show you guys some clips of how that place looks. It's very old, so, and the location just makes it worse. And one time that I was working night shift, it was around 4 in the morning. And I think, what happened that I had to, I think again, the restrooms on the bottom weren't working. Because I don't usually go up there. And the time that I did... Oh, dude, I was so scared. Like, it literally haunted me. Um, I had finished doing my business, and it was something quick, literally. I just had to use the number one. And as soon as I started, like, I, start, I started washing my hands, and then I was going to get the thing to dry. I hear a loud bang. Like, I am not exaggerating. I don't even know how to do the, like... I don't know if that louder than that but oh Jesus and it's a small area so like I think it like it goes <sighs> my heart stopped for like a quick second and then I was like is it this guy like we had uh, another supervisor there but in the dispatch and I'm like there's stairs upstairs there's stairs to go in to go up there and it's pretty far but I remember I had opened the door real quick like a quick second you know it took me to open the door because I figured I was like it's this motherfucker, you know, just messing with me. <laughs> um, I open the door, there's nobody there. And when I show you the clips, like, it's creepy. It's just weird vibes, you know? So, and you would have heard somebody running down the steps. I check the stairs, there's nobody there. Um, gotta concentrate. And they still look like crap. I gotta fix this here. So, I had in the back of my mind, I'm like... Mm, I was like just fucking leave just just walk down and as soon as I get to the dispatch area and it's locked like you need a code and everything it's a good far like it's a good walk you know so there's no way I walk in and I expected like somebody to like laugh or whatever they're literally normally like just there they're just like working so I had my dispatcher the um my coworker, and then the supervisor there and I asked him I'm like I'm expecting for them to like start saying something and I'm like who the fuck was up there and they're like what are you talking about I'm like who the fuck went up there and knock knocked on the door so they're literally looking at me confused which made it worse and I was like getting mad I'm like who the fuck like tell me like stop playing with me they didn't, they didn't say anything. They're like, what are you talking about? Like, literally nobody went. And I kind of figured if they're goofing around, they would have told me, like, days later or something, you know? 
I checked the cameras because we can replay. I don't see anybody. I don't see anybody. I, I could see, I could literally see me walking in like that way, that direction, and I see myself walking back. So between that time, there's literally nobody. And that knock, like I'm telling you to this day, it haunts me because it sounded very aggressive. You know, there's different ones like a simple knock. No, that was horrible. Like it was telling me get the fuck out of there. Ever since then, I'm like scared to go up there. And that's my nightmare. Um, so then last time, back to the story, like last time that I was there, I had to use the upstairs one. And I was so scared. I was trying to just be quick. I'm like, just stay positive. Don't think about it. And from the what they had told us, the restrooms were down. And they had to, the, ne the following day, they had to get porter potties for the employees which is so uncomfortable just because like you gotta share with them and, and there's a lot of like nasty guys there you know like men are just no se limpian bien so not just that they don't they don't clean after themselves like when they and when they pee in the toilet they're very disgusting so <laughs> i totally forgot about that and i had asked him i was like wait a minute because i had told him i was like yeah i can i guess i can go in tonight you know i don't have anything i get i got some good rest and whatnot but i totally forgot i was like let me make sure let me make sure and then he's like please don't let me at please don't make me answer that <laughs> he's like he tells me um let me show you. He's like, they should be back on tomorrow or day after, but the porter potties have heating and get cleaned every day. Yo, fuck. How many times you clean that shit? Have you seen the movie The Hills Have Eyes? Like when <laughs> that girl, the guy's using the fucking porter potty and they, this motherfucker, like, sorry I'm cussing, but this guy, <sighs> they threw him in the shitter and he fucking grabs his ass or something. <laughs> So I was like, no, mom is, I'm not going. Sorry, I can't. And I felt so bad, but I'm like, dude, no. He's like, they're not bad. And then he sends me another message. I'll buy you lunch. I'm like, period, because I'm starving. And guess what? I want tacos. I was like, and a Red Bull. <laughs> He's like regular flavored. Regular 16 ounce. I'm going to make him fucking pay. And I'll show you guys. I'm going to get, oh. And now every time I go work over there, there's this uh, place, Tacos on Coco. Oh my god. And it's so delicious. Every time I I try here and there to like... It's just like the vibes over there that, I, that got stuck to me, you know? And I don't want to... I, I didn't cook right now. I didn't... Um, I don't have anything ready. Because again, it was at the last minute. I thought so I'll get you too. Ah, bitch! Period. But that's the story. And that place is creepy. But no, you know what's creepy? Like people have told me like their little encounters or whatever... And I've been working there for a little bit more than two years. If not, it was already two years. I don't remember. Two or two and a half something. So I've been there for quite a while. Before I started, um, before I went, um, I was full time before I went part time. And I really haven't encountered much. I could hear like my chair, my partner's chair when she's not there. When she would go to the restroom, I could hear somebody like moving it or like sitting down. But nothing crazy. Besides the restroom thing. That literally traumatized me. But my our new building, my at my full time job at the um, the police department, they just made us. Um, we just switched over to a new building, and it's a it's like a trailer. We're next to the officers, so it's a trailer, and supposedly I don't think it's like brand new, as in like they just built it. I think it's obviously just new to us. Um, they just remodeled everything as soon as we moved there and since again i'm working the night shift and me and my partner yeah i was gonna say don't think i'm crazy but me and my partner both heard have been hearing a lot of footsteps and since it's a trailer you can hear literally everything we don't have cameras yet which is killing me because when i am alone I, i'm alone for about four hours pretty often so it's just supposed to be us at night nobody's there the officers have their own, um, their own trailer to work at, you know? And a lot of times they tell us, or we tell them, like, you need to come over here or whatever. So I've been hearing more over here quick, like, it was so soon. Like, we had just gotten there, and I'm already hearing things, and too often. 
But over here with these guys, it's like, it was just mainly that. That freaked me out. So when I had told him, I was like, nope, I'm not going. Like, I was really just not going to go if he wouldn't have texted me back. No, if he wouldn't have offered food. That's the way to my heart. I do have a lot of things to do here at home. And I was excited to, like, at least have the day off. And as you can tell, I have, I got Amazon. I got Shein. My niece did that with another, with the chair that I bought. And I was organizing all my Shein stuff. That's all right. Let's see what... So what sucks is like I don't want to be going get, going up and down with them. Porter potty. Like I'm used to drinking water. And then I had I had drank my tea that will if you know what I mean, will fucking it it um detox your body. So I'm just gonna try and then I'm over here asking for Red Bull. Like a good thing that um I do like working with the guy that I'm gonna be with, working with. He's really cool. So that's why every time he asks me to come in, you're going to be working with this person because I ask him, wow, who's there, first of all? And then the downside is that um, pretty far from where I live and from my main job. I'm wearing these. I'm going to be wearing side chick. Feeling like a side chick. I need to hurry because the blue is drying. Can you hear the dogs making a mess? Just gorgeous. So yeah, it's already. <laughs> I'm gonna be late. AF. All right, what lipstick? I usually stick to the same ones, and I hate it. Cutes, cutes. Use code Miller20 for 20% off beach. Well, here I am. It's already 6 30. I'm gonna go. Um, thank you guys for for hanging out with me and a little a little story. Oh uh, yeah, thank you guys for hanging out with me and getting ready with me for a 12 hour shift with free food and a porter parties. Let's see how that goes. I'll see you guys in the morning. I'll update you guys on how it went. But thank you guys. Peach. This is nicer than my fucking restaurant, bitch. Good morning. It is now the next day. I got off of work not too long ago. I already changed, but I still have my makeup. And I just wanted to give you guys a little update on how it went. <laughs> totally different than how I was thinking. It's nothing like I imagined. I imagined literally the ones that you... The ones that you see out in the park, you know? Those nasty ones. <laughs> and actually... Um... So they're pretty cool. They're like very like professional. Once you see the picture or video um we have our own separate from the guys but it's together but there's a little there's one door for the girls obviously the other one for the men and i feel so bad like because my i'm my boss right so i'm drinking my red bull that he got me I, he got me two red bulls and then i ordered food and he paid for it and i also put a, a clip of what i ate i know i overdid it no that's usually what i always get it's just that the price is getting bigger like i mean the price is getting pricier <laughs> but that's usually what i what i get is um half a pound of so what i usually get is the tripitas but today i got yesterday i got the barbacoa and the barbacoa was a, was a little bit maybe one or two dollars less and then i got a potato on the side that's that's mainly what i get and I ate the whole thing. Like I ate half of it before I was doing like paperwork and then the rest like around four in the morning that I got hungry. And just because I didn't want to bring it home, like it was too, the, the scent was like very strong. So look, this is what I text him. 
So I had texted him in the morning right now because I told him that I forgot to clock out. And then he's like, I'll fix it. And he's like, and thank you for covering. I hope the bathrooms weren't too bad. So he was so concerned. And then I was like, actually, they're better than mine. <laughs> That's literally what I said in the video. I was like, wow. And I was like, not bad at all. Honestly, I just thought those regular ones, which what I was just saying. And then this is what he says. He's like, He's like, haha, they were stinky during the day, so I rushed to Walmart to get deodorizers. All that for me, bitch? I was like, damn, no wonder it smelled really nice. It's as soon as you walk in, you can smell. It was really like pleasing, you know? Um, and it had heaters and stuff. Like, it wasn't bad at all. So I kind of feel bad for like tongue shit. <laughs> But you never know. It's like never been to a job where we use fucking border bodies. That's why I'm like, what the fuck? I don't even use the ones in the when I go for a run, the ones that they have at the parks, and because of that, and people are just disgusting. And you know what? We've used we used it before. Where um, when's the last time that I, we went to one to a pumpkin patch? You know how they have all of the ones, all of the uh, porter potties lane, and it stinks. And they're dirty. There's no toilet paper. There's a bunch of spider webs and spiders. And other who knows what other insects. And you can see like it's nasty, but this one was different. That's exactly what I thought. I'm like, oh no. I'm like, I'm gonna try avoid to fucking drink as much as I I can. But it's 12 hours and I did it. So just the fact that oh he did all that for me, so. He was very concerned and he was very trying trying hard to make sure that I was comfortable so I feel bad um, don't call me in tonight though <laughs> I really need to clean all this mess and oh my god my vanity because of the of all the Shein stuff that I got and then uh, my dogs I need to groom them I've been wanting to groom them but takes time everything takes time well but one thing at a time that's what i need to do just one thing at a time but yeah i just wanted to give you guys a little update of how my night went everybody's always happy to see me um it's every i go i go probably like once or twice once maybe a month or every two months it depends so it's kind of rare that they see me, but when they do see me, they're very friendly. Um, so that I always appreciate. It's always nice. Um, it was kind of hard to stay up, though. <laughs> like, I'm not going to lie. It, it always is. I don't know. For some reason, I thought, you know what? I thought it was because of the 12 hours that I couldn't handle anymore. But over here, my full-time job, I'm working the eight hours, and it always hits me by, like, three in the morning, four, especially four in the morning. And I'm like, I cannot keep my eyes open. So it's a, it's a struggle no matter what. But it's because, look, I'm just sitting there right there. I'm like, when it's a good night. Like, I don't know. I rather I don't know if I'd rather it be like a dead night with no calls. But it's hard because that just makes me like, I'm just there not doing anything. So that's where I'm like really falling asleep. And then we get those nights where we're super busy and you just never know what's going to happen. Or you get those ugly calls and you leave. So you're busy and the night goes by quicker. So there's no time to even think that you're tired. Um, that I don't mind, but then you do leave work, like, traumatized with certain calls, depending on the call, like, what it was. So sometimes you're just traumatized, you're like, oh, shoot, like, what just happened? You know? Till this day, I'm still thinking, like, oh, my God, like, I thought I heard it all, but no, it just things still pop up. Um, but after that, I mean, it takes a... It depends. Probably takes like a day or maybe by the time you get home, you're already over it. But you just never know, right? So I'm like, pick your battles. Like, what do you want? And then also when it's, like I was explaining, when it's dead, you just hear footsteps. 
so you're not alone. <laughs> uh, other than that, yeah. I think I'm just going to go to sleep just in case. Be prepared for the worst if he does call me in because the girl that I covered, um, her babies were sick. So I'm not sure she's going to need coverage tonight as well. And I'll just have to be prepared for it. Yeah. Anyways, well, thank you guys. I'm finally going to close the video because I never do. I get a bad habit of closing videos. Just because I'm not sure if I'm still going to continue recording. Because, like I said, I could talk forever. There's so many things that are starting starting to pop up on my mind that, oh, I want to share with somebody. And so, yeah. We'll see you guys on my next vlog. My next rant. Thank you, guys.